today marks such a milestone. It has been one full year since I have been out of the professional workforce. I have been working since I was 17 and um, I quit working when I was 32. And now it has been one full year since I have been out of the workforce. And I am absolutely thrilled to be celebrating this anniversary. I know this is such a weird anniversary, but I'm absolutely thrilled. And I just wanted to make a video to celebrate it. I just wanted to make a video to celebrate this milestone because it is, I can't believe it's been a year already. It has been such a wonderful year and I just want to celebrate Maybe I should make a cake or something or brownies. <gasps> I have brownies. Oh, I think we're gonna make something. I'm gonna make something. Eee! I also love arts and crafts, so I don't know. I just wanna do something fun and I wanna celebrate this milestone because this is such a monumental moment for me. When I was a child, if you would ask me what I wanted to be when I grew up, I would have said a teacher. Somewhere around junior high, I decided I didn't want to teach, but I also had no idea what I did want to be. If you would have asked me back then, I would have said, I don't know. And I would have run off, so I wouldn't have been pressured into making a choice I couldn't have possibly made at that time. Then once I became a mom, the only thing I wanted to do was raise my babies. Shortly after I became a mom, I was promoted at my job. One day, I had a meeting with my then boss. I was asked the age-old question yet again. What do you want to do for the rest of your life? What are your goals? Who do you want to be? My response was not simple. It was a hard one to even answer. I didn't understand the question he was asking. And I knew if I answered, it wouldn't be the answer he was looking for. My answer was to be a mom and the first teacher my children will ever have. It sounds corny to say, but my main purpose in life is to be a great mom and wife. That is it. And that is what makes me happy and oh so fulfilled. If I had to describe what my love language was, it would definitely include something artsy, something to do with food, and being able to do both of those things within the comfort of my home. I love trying new things in the kitchen or copycat versions of familiar favorites. And I love getting my hands dirty with a new art project. And I just really like slow living and staying at home really helps me indulge in that slow living mindset. And any of those things combined, I would say, is definitely what I would consider my love language. You ready to paint? Yeah, I like to paint. All right. Thanks.